News this morning is that Intel is cancelling its performance tuning protection plan. This means no protection for overclocking. What's your minimum specification? So since about 2013, whenever you have purchased one of these special Intel K overclocking processors, this is the 10850K here, you are also able to buy a protection plan that in the event of overclocking the processor, you could replace it for one free of charge. The news today is that Intel is now stopping that program for all but one processor. So it's come to my attention that not a lot of people know what this program is, so I'm going to go through what exactly it was, how it started, what it meant, what you could do, and what happens from now on. So first of all, let's go to this performance tuning protection plan page. This is direct uh, Intel. This is using the Wayback Machine because this no longer exists. And the idea is that if you purchased your Core i9, um, you could also pay an extra 20 to $35 and get the ability to overclock it, to play around with all the overclocking tools, and if it broke, Intel would give you one free of give your replacement one free of charge. Um, and this is if you wanted to use Intel's performance maximizer tool, the auto overclocking tools, or just simply go in and do manual overclocking. Um, in the FAQs, with this delightful apostrophe here. So the performance tuning protection plan was an extra purchase on top of the standard warranty. So you still had the standard three-year warranty in case the processor broke or didn't live up to its um, minimum specifications. This would go on top of, and um, should the processor break, during that warranty due to overclocking, uh, you'd be able to get a replacement free of charge. Um, how do I ter return a processor that's failed due to overclocking? Well, here's a link. Uh, who do I contact for help? What is the cost? Um, we'll go into what the initial costs were in just a second. Um, but the idea is that this would this would allow you to replace the processor once, and it was only valid for retail boxed units. If you purchased your processor OEM or on eBay, um, that then that didn't uh, cover. Though you could um, transfer the protection plan if you sold the processor. Um, this it started with the second and third gen Intel core processors, so Sandy Bridge, Ivy Bridge. So uh, performance tuning protection plan does it cover XMP? Because XMP is technically overclocking. Yes, it does. Um, it was only available for a limited amount of countries, uh, so US, Canada, uh, UK, most of Europe. Um, but it changed over time. And the one processor that is still covered is the special Intel Xeon W3175X. Uh, I've got a video on that, and you can click the card here, I guess. Um, and there's a special unlocked 28-core $3,000 processor, and because the processor costs so much, uh, Intel decided to bundle it in. So this is the slide that we were presented in 2013, uh, Intel's Intel Developer Forum. Um, so performance tuning protection plan by Intel. So the Extreme Edition and the K-SKUs, like this uh, 10850K here, all made for overclocking, but overclocking isn't in the warranty. So warranty is no longer valid if the product is used above its specified frequency. Um, a few people might ask, well, how does Intel know that you've overclocked the processor? Um, these processors have um, fused bits such that if you go above the defined frequency in the firmware, those fused bits will trigger, and that's sort of like a permanent indicator that the processor has at one point been overclocked. Um, Intel can't really tell you how long you've been overclocking it for, but it can at least tell it can at least detect whether you've at least done some overclocking. Um, and if you do any overclocking at any point, technically you're out of warranty. So. Survey revealed the top concerns with overclocking. Number one is concerns about burning out the CPU. That can be valid. You don't want to stick two volts through your CPU. Concerns about voiding the warranty. Still high. And performance benefit is not clear. Well, that's changed over time. Um, obviously, it's less obvious what the benefit of overclocking is today versus when it was during Sandy Bridge. Um, but the idea is that protection plan allows for one single CPU replacement, hassle-free from Intel. That's not one per plan. That's one per CPU. In addition to the standard three-year boxed process warranty, and if the CPU fails by running outside of Intel specifications, Intel will replace it. And the price plan here, we've got um, $20 for the Core i5Ks, $25 for the Core i7Ks, and then $25 to $35 for the high-end desktop chips. 
Um, so yeah, pass through option or end users purchase direct. So OEMs could still purchase this. System integrators could still purchase this for their OEM processors. Uh, just that if you are an end user buying a, a non-boxed CPU, you can purchase it there. And when you went to purchase it, it looks something like this. This is uh, one of my local retailers, Scan. Uh, still selling i7 6800K performance tuning plans, £29, so it's about $35. And you just added it to basket and you got a code and you went online with it. Uh, peace of mind for beginners and experienced overclockers. Provides a single one-time replacement CPU direct. Um, so at these prices, you're adding anywhere from between 5 and 10% onto the price of the CPU. Uh, which, if you're going to go you know, extreme overclocking, then maybe that's definitely an option. Uh, this is the only processor um, that comes with a performance stream plan automatically, the Xeon W3175X. Um, note that it's 255 watt TDP um, just during normal turbo use you're going up to 400 overclocking you're going near 650 these these sorts of schemes are they're, they're they're extra insurance schemes and the idea is that they're designed to make the company money because for every 10 people who buy the protection plan only one needs to break it and the plan kind of evens out so the idea is that less than one in 10 will actually replace the processor over its lifetime and this is Intel's you know, overclocking page. What is overclocking? You can use the Extreme Tuning Utility XTU. You can enable your XMP profile, um, your performance maximizer tool, and then you know additional performance protection tuning plan. Um, and this is yeah, this has gone on since Sandy Bridge. And you can buy systems that come with uh, the plan as well. Um, this all gets mothballed, and when you go to the website, this is what you see. Uh, performance tuning protection program has been discontinued. Let me zoom in a bit here. Uh, cus as customers increasingly overclock with confidence, we are seeing lower demand. Um, one might argue that because these processors are now binned to win an inch of their life, you don't need overclocking to get... I mean, you get, yeah, okay, you get 100 megahertz, 200 megahertz. Um, not back in the day when you'd get, say, a 20% overclock, a 40% overclock, 50% overclock. For all, exi all existing plans will continue to be honoured. Um, so it's, even though it says, as a result, Intel will no longer offer new plans, despite the fact that Scan is still selling them. Yeah, and then a special note about the Xeon W3175X. Um, you know, because it, they can't even put Intel, Xeon, and that name, it makes it look like it's a dummy site. I have no idea. Um, so... Was this worth it? Why is Intel discontinuing it? Um, I'm going to go on the basis of that. Um, these schemes, you know, they look good on the surface for consumers. Um, they're designed to make the company a bit of money. Maybe it's no longer making the company anymore. Uh, no, not, no longer making the company any money anymore. Though uh, the people who bought these were probably more extreme overclockers as well as system integrators. So, or Intel's got something up their sleeve coming up um, with regards overclocking and boost frequencies that we don't know about yet, and therefore this sort of plan isn't required. Though, that being said, if the plan isn't required, they can still go on and kind of sell it and still make some money, maybe? I don't know. Um, I mean, I was an extreme overclocker for a long time. I competed in the leagues. Um, I never bought the plan just because I never broke my processors. Um, I did break one processor. That was the 3770K, I think, because I accidentally put too much voltage through the memory controller. But yeah, um, some might argue I'd never broke any processors because I didn't push them hard enough. I did what I needed to. Now I just run at stock and I'm happy because I need consistency and stability. Not really overclocking anymore. Um, just the way the world is, I guess, at least from my perspective. Um, so what did you think? Did you buy a performance protection tuning program? PTPPPPT? I don't know. Um, pineapple pen, I think. If you bought one, let me know in the comments exactly what happened to you. Did you try and claim on it? Was it use useful? Was it worth less? Did you ever transfer one of these plans on? Please let me know in the comments. It'd be interesting to hear what happened to the users who bought these plans. 
Uh, and if you like the channel, please don't forget to like and subscribe. Really helps out the Tech Tech Potato. Uh, there's also a Patreon for uh, so you get early videos as they as and when they come along. Um, and what's your minimum specification? Well, it looks like we don't need overclocking protection programs anymore. 